Okay, everyone, welcome back to Mary's Deals and Steals, and welcome back to another Dollar General haul. Now, uh, yesterday I posted that Dollar General was going to have an additional 50 to 70 percent off, and let me tell you, it's going to vary from store to store. Most of my items I picked up at my store were only an additional 50 percent off. Now, I'm going to go visit another store, and so guys, I'll let you know. However, I've been wanting these pills for quite some time, and to be honest, in my particular store that was only 50% off, I should have picked them up when they were buy two and, no, buy one and get two free. Some of the stuff was well worth it. So, in other words, an example of how your store may do it is my store had some items for 40% off, like these items here, all the swim stuff, and then it was an additional 50% off. So some of those items I paid like 90 cents, 30 cents for, and I'll show you my receipt here. I had been wanting these big um, planter barrels, and I ended up paying dollars. So this is an example of where it's half off, and then you're going to take an additional 50% off. So I didn't mind that. Now the mats were a little bit different. Um, I did not get those at a good price. However, I've been during the summer. I usually always put welcome mats in the front of my entry in my door and then I also use those for my travel trailer so I really wanted some of those and I'm not going to pay full retail price uh, coming up this next uh, summer or spring or whichever so I'll show you my receipt here in just a minute so for the beach balls there those are going to run you about 30 cents if your store is doing just the 50% off and where is it that Dollar General's receipts were a little bit. Okay, so the adult goggles were 30 cents. There you go. And they were half off of the dollar. And then another, so that was 60. No, my store had it 40% off. I apologize. And then a 50% off would have been 30 cents. So I paid 30 cents for the dollar ones. And then for the $3 ones, I ended up paying... Those were $1.80, and so I ended up paying $0.90 cents for the $3 ones and so forth. So it can be confusing, but just if I was you, I would definitely go with the 70% off stores. So I'm going to get out and go look a little bit more. I ended up paying $3 for my pillows, but like I said, I should have picked them up when they were buy one and get two free. However, for next year, I really love that one, and I really like these for my outside patio and deck. So... Um, $1.90 was the uh, mitt there, the charcoal mitt, uh, 90 cents, the mitt was $1.50, sorry, and the spatula was 90 cents, so, you know, I, I don't mind paying that, and these, I'm just in love with these, because regardless, I can utilize these, and I can spray paint them if I need to, whatever theme or whatever color is in for spring and summer of this next year, and my mats, I did pay three dollars for those, so those were still just 25% off, and then an additional 50% off, and here you go, see the mats were three dollars a piece, so, uh, I don't think it's still a bad price. Like I said, if you don't pay full retail for any of your items, pick them up. So, like I said, I'm going back out. So, wish me luck. I want to be able to, I've got two more stores to visit. I want to be able to pick up 70% off. But I also want to stay within a minimal of how much to spend. I don't want to go crazy because I don't want to hit my husband's pocketbook. He'll be happy, though, that I didn't pay full price. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, I guess this, these are my final deals, as I was showing you earlier. I did go back, and I picked up this, I don't know, I guess this mat that I had been eyeballing for quite some time. It is regularly, it was regularly $20, and it was 50% off, and then another 50% off, and I ended up paying $6 out of pocket, and it's really what I wanted. Um, so, again, it was 50% off, and it's 48 by 48 by something it's a pretty good size so I ended up paying six dollars not a bad deal but overall I really recommended that you guys really just kind of wait I guess maybe they'll drop a little bit more if you need something definitely get it you're not paying retail price 
but I really think the buy one and get two was a better deal for us when we did have it last week. However, these are things that I've wanted, things that I'm going to need, especially for the grandkids when we go swimming, and of course, my pillows that I wanted. I also want to show y'all a check that I received for $6.75. This is from Dial Complete. It's a settlement fund. As couponers, you know, we try a lot of products and I did a video when I first started YouTube and you can actually find this website at Class Action Settlement or Class Action Lawsuit. You can go in there and find a lot of companies that have action lawsuits against them. And if you tried any of those products, you definitely can file for a reimbursement. And for this, it was from the Dial Company, and I think it was the Dial Foam Soap. So, I ended up getting $6.75, and uh, $6.75, I will definitely cash that in and help me for spending some on my items that I wanted. So, happy couponing and happy savings. Get out there and take a look at your store. See if they've got 50% or 70% or 75%, however. But if you do need the items, definitely get in. So, happy couponing and happy savings. And thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you have any comments or questions on the, the soap settlement or the class action lawsuits, let me know. I'll try to give you some information or I'll try to see if I can find that video in one of my past. I know it was, like I said, some of the few that when I first started. So, as always, thank you for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.